Welcome to Press Points. I'm Carrie Hatterley and today is February 24th, 2012. Over 400 kindergartners descended on Sheridan College Thursday for the annual Dental Hygiene Department Kindergarten Day. SC Dental Hygiene students and faculty coordinate each year in February to commemorate National Children's Dental Health Month and invite the students out for a day of activities and interaction. To make the day fun, there is a theme. This year, it was under the sea. The goal of Kindergarten Day is to educate kindergartners about oral hygiene and to acquaint them with the dental office and equipment, making them more comfortable when they visit the dentist. Two dead dogs were found purposefully discarded on Upper Cat Road last Friday, according to the Sheridan County Sheriff's Office. Sheridan County Sheriff's Deputy Mark Conrad said the dogs had been shot and that the investigation into why and why they were discarded on the road continues. The owners of the dogs, whose names were not immediately available this morning, had reported them missing the preceding week. After the dogs were found and collected, the owners were contacted. Anyone with knowledge of the incident should contact the Sheriff's Office. In sports, the Bighorn boys and girls basketball teams each registered wins Thursday at the 2A Eastern Regional Tournament. The Rams downed Lusk 62-50 and the Lady Rams whipped Burns 56-29. The Sheridan girls basketball team did something Friday night that they had only done once before in 19 years. Maddie McClure completed an old-fashioned three-point play with eight seconds left to lift the Lady Bronx 16-6 to, 16 and 6 to a 58-55 win over Gillette. It was the second win in 19 years for SHS against the Lady Camels in Gillette. And in the weekend edition, see a feature story on the Sheridan College Student Senate. Election fever has hit, and the first ever student, student Senate candidate debate will be from 6.30 to 8 p.m. March 5th in the CTEL Auditorium. Online elections will open right after the debate. Voting will be open until midnight on March 9th. All Sheridan College students with active email accounts are eligible to vote. See these stories and more in today's Sheridan Press or online at thesheridanpress.com.